You're listening to Catholic Sprouts, the daily podcast for Catholic kids that strives to plant seeds of faith. Hey there, Sprouts. Today is Monday, November 26th, 2018. This week on the Catholic Sprouts podcast, we are going to be talk, tackling a big topic that is a problem for a lot, a lot of people this time of year. We are going to be talking about materialism. Now, do you know what materialism is? Think about all the things in your life that are material, meaning you can touch them, you can feel them, and most importantly, you can own them. All of our clothes, our toys. For adults, we have cars and houses, all sorts of things. And there are some pretty cool things in this world. Materialism. Now, it is not a bad thing to own things, but when we talk about materialism, we are saying that we love things too much that we want more and more and more things. That is the sin of materialism. We all know that this is so bad this time of year because Christmas is coming. We have a long list of things that we want to get under the Christmas tree, a long list of things that we feel we need or we deserve, and we want more and more and more. But no matter how old you are, I bet that you can relate to something. Have you ever really wanted something? Maybe it was a new Lego set. Maybe it was a new set of clothes or a doll. Whatever it was, something you really wanted. You thought about it. You begged your parents for it. You circled pictures of it in magazines. You wanted it so bad. And then lo and behold... Your Christmas or birthday came around and you got it. You got it. You got that beautiful new Lego set or that new pair of clothes and you were so, so, so excited. You played with it for a while. You tried it on. And what happened? Most of the time, we go through a period of excitement, but then we are disappointed. Now, I want you to ask the adult that you're with right now, ask them if they've ever had that experience, if they've ever really, really wanted something only to get it and be disappointed. I bet they have, because this is something that nearly every human being has experienced. Now, why is it? Why is it that we want something so bad, and then when we finally get it, We're disappointed, and very often we move right on to the next thing that we really want. Well, the answer to this is actually quite simple. All of us were made for one thing. We were made to be loved and to give our love in return to God. That's it. I know it sounds simple, but that's it. That's what we were created to do. Now, a lot of times we don't know that. We just sort of feel an emptiness inside of us. It's this emptiness, this longing. And we see something pretty out there in the world and we think, hey, maybe that will feel, fill my emptiness. Maybe that will make me feel really happy and complete. So we long for it and we get it, but it doesn't fill us. It doesn't fill the hole inside of us because that hole can only be filled by God. Now, yesterday, the church celebrated the great feast day of Christ the King. This is the last Saturday, Sunday before we dive into Advent. So we celebrated Christ the King. Now, when we think of a king, we oftentimes think of a man with jewels and a crown on his head living in a huge castle. But while Christ was on earth, he didn't do any of those things. He was a poor baby born in a barn. He was a man disrespected and crucified. And yet, he is the king of the universe. We were created by God. We were created for 
God. And just as God didn't claim a castle for himself or create a huge horde of Legos for himself, we will only be happy if we follow him, if we love him, and if we imitate his example. And so, challenge, so Sprouts, I have a challenge for you today. I challenge you to look at all of your stuff, your clothes, your toys, all of it, your art supplies, everything. Look at it all. And I want you to ask yourself this simple question. Do I love these things more than I love God? It's a big question. It's a hard question. And hopefully you will answer with a resounding no, but it's an important thing for both children and adults to ask themselves. Do I love this thing more than God? That's it for Catholic Sprouts today. We'll be back tomorrow, but until then, continue to grow in your faith and truly sprout into the beautiful creation that God intended you to be. quick heads up to the parents. As we work our way through November, we of course are looking forward to December and Advent. Here on the Catholic Sprouts podcast, we will be spending all of Advent exploring the Jesse tree, meaning we will be talking about many of Jesus's ancestors as a way to prepare our hearts to welcome him at Christmas. If you would like to explore the Jesse tree even further at home with your family, I encourage you to look into a beautiful new resource. It's a devotional book for Catholic families that explores the Jesse tree. It takes the stress off of you, gives lots of biblical context, and also is designed to truly teach children about the amazing plan that God has had in place for our salvation from the very, very beginning. To explore this book and the ornaments that go with it, head to do small things with love forward slash Jesse dash tree.